Well, welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Right off the bat on today's show, a vehicle to make its official debut at the Detroit Auto Show is a little bit of a blast from the past from the folks over at Honda. Back in 2000, they developed a vehicle called the Insight. That thing lasted till 2009 before a major refresh until its ultimate demise in 2014. Now, five years later, here we are with the all-new Insight, again, that'll debut at the Detroit Motor Show. As the old Insight was a little bit on the wonky-looking side, I think this vehicle is very, very attractive machine. Pretty much all we know about this vehicle is that it will have a hybrid drivetrain, much like the outgoing Insight, but no real specifications have been released as of yet. But the Detroit Motor Show is only in a couple of weeks' time, so we'll know a whole lot more come then. Another vehicle that's going to debut the Detroit Motor Show is the refreshed Jeep Cherokee. Gone is that weird-looking face that it actually had for that first go-round of the new Cherokee. And now to this much more stylish, much more mainstream look on this vehicle. Not only have they done a lot of work to the front half, but also to the back half as well. There's a lot of rumors floating about that this thing's going to get some pretty interesting drivetrain. Maybe a plug-in hybrid version, maybe a diesel version as well. All stuff that we're going to have to wait and see on, so we'll definitely keep you tuned when this vehicle debuts at the Detroit Motor Show. Another blast from the past is this particular machine. Remember the old Selene S7? Well, the folks over at Selene are going to bring back the beast. Back from the old days, back from 2009, almost 10 years ago, this vehicle will debut again. Much unchanged as well, as it will look almost identical to the outgoing Selene S7. But the 7-liter twin turbocharged V8 that was in the last go-round that made about 750 horsepower may return. They haven't actually talked about specifications, but they did say this. The vehicle will have a twin turbocharged V8, maybe 7 liters in displacement, but this new one's going to make anywhere between 1,000, and I've even seen some reports of upwards of around 1,400 horsepower. Yeah, this thing's going to be pretty stupid fast. The S7 Le Mans edition, as it's going to be called, may make its official debut at the Detroit Motor Show. They haven't made that official as of yet, but we'll definitely keep you in tune once we hear more about this. Do have some bad news. They're only going to build seven of these things, so they're going to be stupidly rare and with a cost of around a million dollars apiece. Last up on the list, well, you probably watched the Grand Tour, much as I did, and got to see their brand new driver, the new Stig 2.0, or the American 2.0, I guess it would be, in the old Grand Tour speak. And it's a young lady, even though they didn't talk about what her official name is, the leak is out. It is 25-year-old race car driver, in fact, long-time race car driver. This young lady has been racing for near 17 years in karting and a lot of other open wheel and closed wheel automobile genres, a lot of touring car racing, some endurance car racing, along with the latest go-round where she's in the British GT Championship. It's 25-year-old race car driver, Abby Eaton. And if you want to, you can check her out on the old Twitter sphere, as she's on the old Twitter sphere. And between her racing duties that she has to go, she's going to be doing the test driving for the Grand Tour. I'm really hoping they bring her into the fold, at least to do a lot more with her. It'd be pretty interesting to see another dynamic on the old team. So the next edition of the Grand Tour is just, well, goodness gracious, at least for me, only about 24 hours time. So cannot wait to see what she may be driving in the next Next episode. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. And it's also the very last episode for Motor Cars for the year 2017. I know a lot of you are saying, thank you, Lord. Yes, and we taken off for the Christmas and New Year's holidays. And no matter what holiday you celebrate, whether you've just finished celebrating Hanukkah, whether you celebrate Kwanzaa, even if you celebrate Christmas, or even Festivus, I want to wish you all the happiest and jolliest of times this holiday season and the New Year season. Hope you go out there and have a ball with family and friends, really make some memories and enjoy what the holidays are all about. 
and we'll see you again in the first part of January of 2018 with some all new goodies and we got some new interesting stuff that are going to come about. Going to be doing some special reporting from the Mecham Auction in Kissimmee, Florida. Going to run down there and see some of the top line supercars and muscle cars that are going to be heading across the block down in Florida coming up in the mid part of January. So check out on the Facebook page for a lot more of that action and check out on the Facebook page also the whole Christmas holiday and New Year's, around New Year's too, I'll be putting out whatever news that is news and a lot of fun content up in the next several days. You may actually get to see me a couple of times maybe on there as well. Thanks for watching the year 2017. We'll see you in 2018.